one of the most common questions I, I get asked is about the gorilla experience. What does it involve? What does it entail? And so in these two segments, we're going to talk about the gorilla experience by itself and Uganda and Rwanda and how to go about organizing it for yourself. Now, the gorilla experience, arguably, is the greatest experience in Africa. It uh, is an amazing chance or opportunity to get up close and personal with these amazing creatures with no artifice, no, no break, no vehicle, uh, no fence, nothing like that. Just in their environment, interacting with them, almost as equals if it wasn't for the fact they're twice your size. How the experience begins is you turn up to the visitor centre in either Uganda or Rwanda and you're then assigned your group of trekkers. Now the, the trekkers here will uh, take you up into the forest to, to visit the gorilla family. They assign the family when you get there, depending on your abilities, and the location of the gorilla families. You then begin your walk up into the national park to see the gorillas. Now, this walk can be an hour, it can be five hours. Often the, uh, the quality of the trip dictates the length of the walk. Just bear that, bear that in mind. But it is a, you don't think you need to be incredibly fit due to the walk. We do think you need to be stable. This is Tarzan country, as we mentioned earlier. The ground can be slippery, can be a little bit steep. Now, the guides and the trackers are there to get you to the gorillas, and they will assist by any means necessary to make sure that you have the time you're after. But just be warned that it can be a bit of a, a slippery, uh, unstable trek through the forest or the jungle, as you'd expect. Where it starts to get a little bit strange is when you get to the outskirts of the gorillas. You put down your bags, you take out your cameras, and then you have to ask permission from the gorillas to come and visit which sounds strange, I know, but wait, bear with me. There are about 16 sounds that uh, we've learnt from the gorillas that we understand and can communicate with the gorillas using these sounds. So uh, in very strange circumstances, when everyone is ready, everyone has their cameras on and ready to go, the uh, head guide will call out to the gorilla in gorilla and ask permission to come in. So he says, everybody okay? <coughs> which means, is it okay in gorilla? And you hear the silverback male, the head of the family say, <coughs> yeah, come on in. With that, you then walk into the gorillas, uh, the gorilla area and spend the quickest hour of your life with the gorillas. It is an amazing hour. The, the body language and the communication and the similarities we share with these gorillas is just incredible. Uh, you can tell what a gorilla is thinking just by looking in their eyes, much in the same way you can tell what we're thinking by looking in our eyes. We share very much of the same DNA. In fact, you're meant to keep 10 feet away which is always, um, always recommended. Sometimes you may not be able to move because of the location, and they may come even closer. You aren't allowed to touch the gorillas. You aren't allowed to pick up the gorillas, much in the same way you wouldn't walk up to a stranger in the street, pick up their kid and throw it around. You wouldn't do that with the gorillas. It's a bit of a reminder when you have the six foot, 220 kilo silverback sitting right next to you, very, very peacefully, very happy, like a big hairy hippie living in the forest. But that experience is just beyond anything else. For example, have a look at this photo. This is a, a pregnant gorilla. This is the last time I visited. She's quite heavily pregnant, and the entire hour I was there, all she did was just eat and complain, as a, quite a heavily pregnant women sometimes do. She had a sore back, her neck was sore, and she was hungry for strange foods. And so she would sit there and have a bit of a whinge, and other gorillas would give her food, and that's how that whole experience went. And the mothers in the group I went up with were, were quite sympathetic towards her and could understand where she was coming from. It's that sort of body language of the gorillas and, the, and the, uh, the similarities we share, which gives you a different perspective on where our place is in the greater society. Once that hour is up, it is only the hour, you then walk down the mountain and back towards your lodge um, to just talk about and reminisce about the amazing experience. Some people choose to do it twice. Some people choose to do it once. No matter how many times you choose to do it, I guarantee it will be the, one of the greatest things you could do in Africa.